Hello dear Marvinots, we have a new version for you, it's 1.61.0 and there are some big changes and hopefully a lot of exciting new features for you. I'm gonna try to go through them a bit quickly because there's just so many so I'll probably skip a few. And the first one I want to talk about is attachments, that was a really highly requested feature and it's a strategy that you can enable. You can't use it in the trial due to some security reasons because we don't want people to abuse that feature. Um, but if you're subscribed, you can enable this. And this also now allows it that when you forward an email, the attachment will come through. And you can see that if you attached something to a task, there's this little icon and then you can manage the, atta um, the attachments. Um, the other big change is that we completely changed the notes. So the notes now are Markdown and you also want to download the new mobile app so that you have the new notes on both platforms. And as you can see, it tells you that you can use this slash shortcut and here are your options. There's some more headings, um, to-do list, which is really nice because you can have a to-do list inside the notes. Of course, it doesn't have any of the functionality of your normal tasks in Marvin. Um, it's just purely within the notes, but maybe that is handy for you. And it also has a table and some ways to have code in there. You can now add images with the attachment strategy. So again, when you add an image into the note, that runs with the same um, code as the attachments in general. So if you are in a trial, that won't work yet. And then we have also these banners, which are kind of cool. Um, so if you're somebody who uses a lot of notes, um, hopefully that is interesting for you. Um, the other strategy is actually a feature that we've had before, but it was just quite hidden. And now you can have some options and we can expand it a bit in the future. And that's the quick jump. And that's a shortcut when you press shift and space bar. Um, as you can see, it opens up this little thing at the top and you can quickly jump to a category or project. And we expanded it now so that you can also jump to labels very quickly. So for everybody who uses a lot of the keyboard shortcuts, this can be really handy and you can change in the settings if you wanted to open up full screen for the project and um, categories or if you just wanted like this is the full screen view or if you just wanted to switch it here in this interface now some people prefer to always have this um, and we added a new thing that's not super refined yet but we think it's really important it's just a better way to view the task information at once especially now that we have attachments and I think we're gonna make this the default as soon as you click on a task um, and then later have some options so that you can actually configure what should happen when you click a task because right now it just selects it, but that's not maybe super useful unless you select multiple. Um, you can also have this feature um, in the hover buttons or the right click menu. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like when you open a task. And again, we wanna make this the default when you just click a task, you sort of zoom into it and you can have your hover actions here, which if you don't know, is a strategy that you can configure so you can have the actions that you need the most right here in sort of a shortcut menu. You can see your subtask, your note, your attachments, and also the familiar edit menu that you can have as this sidebar. Um, and this is maybe a bit hidden, but if you don't like to have these tabs where you can just see one thing at a time, you can create another column kind of separate it out and also have two things next to each other and this is fully customizable so you can say exactly how many columns you have and what you want to have in the columns so that's pretty neat and then we added a new feature to the smart lists that maybe seems a bit why do I need that but I'm going to make another video and put it on our YouTube channel to show you a really cool new workflow that's not possible with this new feature. And basically this new feature allows you to have an automatic refilling of the smart lists. So let's say I want Marvin to automatically create a smart list 
um, from a specific category. So let's say from my Marvin category, but I only want it to have one at a time in there. Uh, this could be for overwhelm reasons. It's a bit like, you know, auto choosing. Um, but now if I set this up and leave it like that, every time it clicked off, checked off that task, it would just automatically populate a new one as long as if there's just one in it. But with the refill, I can say, I only want it to refill daily so that when I check it off, because I maybe want to do one thing for more of in a day, only the next day will there be another item in there. Um, so you can also have weekly refills and with that you can kind of build almost automatic schedules um, for yourself. That's kind of cool, but I'm going to show you that in another video in more detail to get you full of some ideas. <laughs> um, then we also added new smart list filter. So we have any ancestor and you can look that up in the help center here, a bunch of other things on border task subtasks and also a option to pick single tasks and projects because um, that was an option that was missing. Then moving on, we changed the desktop icons. They look much nicer now, but even more excitingly, they now have the option for a batch. And here with the new image note feature, I can show you what that looks like. So this is a picture of my desktop icon with the number six. And I set this to show me how many tasks I have left in my today list. You can set this to any smart list. So if you're working from another list as your main action list, you can have the number of that list count show there. So that's really cool. And we have to also do this for the mobile app, but I don't think that is working yet. Um, you can also click this icon, um, right click. And then um, I think there's just one action to add a task kind of quickly. Uh, if you do prefer that to a shortcut. Um, we improved the week schedule because as a popular request that you can have the current day always th on the very left. So that's an option now that you can set up here. Um, um, yeah, that, where were we? Then we have a new group by creation date. There's a couple of workflows that need that. So you can just group any list based on when you've created a task. Um, the events, you can pick any color now for the events within Marvin. Maybe you have a system there for color coding that. And we also enabled so that you can now import calendar items that are marked as free. And this, for most people, this isn't relevant, but a couple of people really needed that. You can also um, set phone numbers to work on the app so that you can click it and it will call somebody. This is a setting. And if you're using the target features, so for anybody not using this, maybe you're interested in it, you can set targets for yourself, maybe how much you want to work per day or per week on certain categories, smart lists, um, very flexible. But this always used the time tracking so that it checks how much time you've tracked in that category. But if you're not using time tracking or um, sometimes for some tasks and not for others, you can also have the option enabled that it just takes the time from the duration estimate. So when you're using the duration estimate and you're estimating this, you know, to be two hours and then you check it off, it will add two hours to your targets. So it's not just the time tracking. Then if you're using time blocks, you can now configure um, sounds that it makes when the time block is changing. So a start and an end sound. Mm, just so that make it a bit easier to just notice when you maybe want to shift gears. Um, then the global filter we improved a lot. You can now see it in the title here above in your browser. Um, and we added a feature to make it a bit easier. If you're using global filter a lot, you can favorite a couple of your global filters and it creates a shortcut here. So you can very easily now switch between your filters. And it's also maybe a bit more visible, uh, which filter is currently applied so that you don't suddenly feel like, hey, where are my tasks? Um, not realizing that you have a global filter applied. You can also see a global filter that's implied in the master list, again, to reduce some confusion that can happen. 
Um, and we've improved the email strategy. So let me just go there real quick. Uh, there's a couple more settings. So you can choose if the attachment should be included. You can show the sender from who forwarded the email. And very nicely, if you use Gmail, you can have a little icon show up from those tasks that were um, actual emails have forwarded. And when you click that icon, it takes you to Gmail, to that um, email. So that's pretty nice. I always have to scroll here. Um, then we made a lot of improvements to the top of mind strategy, especially on desktop. And you can also have it only enabled for certain devices. We made it so that you can um, limit recurring events to weekdays when you have the every X day pattern. And you can customize the link color in your Marvin. It's just a little bit of extra thing, internal link for trackers. If you're using trackers, which is part of the gold at the moment, you can link to them. Um, we added a new webhook. There's two new shortcuts, a way to mark things as done so that you can do this in bulk with Alt D. You can mark a bunch of them done. Um, you can go to the note more quickly. And yeah, printing the agenda is now better. And just made some performance improvements, lots of bug fixes. And yeah, so I think the big things are the note, the attachments, and a couple of the other things, maybe the smart list refill. And I really hope that you enjoy this release and we look forward to the next release already.